allow the transmission and engine to act as a brake and help maintain a slow speed. Remember, low gear is usually indicated by a 1 or an L or L1 on your shifter. Second, don't ride your brakes. A pumping action of the foot pedal allows the brakes to run cooler than does are just a steady pressure. And never use water to cool your brakes. If they begin to fade, stop at the next pullout and allow them to cool while you enjoy the view. If you're in the fog, please turn on your headlights and remember cars heading down should yield the right of way to the cars on their way up. Since we're going down, um, and I know Jenny's not a good driver, I'm going to go you under my You may have seen <laughs> hikers while you're on the summit. And Some are day hikers, speed. climbing the mountains or traversing the presidential yeah, rounds by any of the miles of trails of that crisscross the slopes. Up. Many begin yeah, from the Appalachian scared. Mountain Club's headquarters, <laughs> just south of here in Pinkham Mountain. <laughs> visible just above oh, sure. the I gotta drive on this base side camp is Tuckerman Ravine, famed for the challenging spring ski. Oh, yay! Boat. Skiing in this ravine is not for the faint of heart or casual skier. The headwall in gullies can be yeah. more extreme than anyone expects. Other merry wanderers may include the long haul hiker who are traversing the Appalachian Trail. Because you first said I'm taking off my shirt. Angelina, you need to find your phone now because you can't have this one. No! She couldn't have had that phone anyway. It was broken. Even for these folks, reaching the top of New England is a milestone in their journey. The Native American populations of the area. No, stop putting your pants in my face. Considered hey, what as they refer to Mount Washington, a sacred place hey, where the great spirit lived. So, rumor has it. So, should I go to Verizon? Should, I guess I'm going to have to go in Verizon. Why not? The region was home to great numbers of natives. Should I go to another company? Prior to the arrival of European ships and people, you want to pay for a phone, you have to go to your own. As sparsely populated coastal communities of colonists can do for an upgrade, I guess. Oh gosh, I'm good. Do they still have free upgrades or no? Stephen just said that we're going to die. After seeing the shining summit from a ship off the coast of Maine, he set out in search of his fortune, enlisting two Native American guides to accompany him into the wilds of this unknown land. Darby set out in a birch bark canoe near Exeter, New Hampshire, paddled up the coastline into the Saco River and up to what is now Glen, New Hampshire. After obtaining permission from the local tribe elders, Darby Field and his two companions set out on what would become the first ever ascent of this formidable mountain. Whether it was riches, glory, adventure, or a combination of all. He saw Darby and his guides achieve their quest and their place in history more than 350 years ago. After the wake-up call, the mountain rolled over and went back to sleep for about another 150 years. And it was the Crawford hey people and then yeah. Ethan after him who yeah. finally began yeah, housing and then guiding guests around Mount Washington yeah. in the yeah. 1790s. As the story goes, it was it believed that the them. first visitors who arrived at Crawford's Inn with their express purpose of climbing Mount Washington did so in 1818. No, she's never phoned. For understatement oh, no. of his massive oh, effort, no. he only wrote, My father and I made a footpath from the notch no. up to the woods. Wait, and it was advertised in the newspapers, and we soon began to have a few visitors. And nearly two centuries later, they have never stopped coming. If for yeah, nothing dead. else, the Crawford family's Dad, legacy what? is assured by the fact that they cut the first hiking trail up in 1919. They said it required Dad in America. I have a hot spot. Beyond that, the Crawfords cut the first bridle path, which incidentally later became the principal oh, route of the Cog Road. Look at my Emma! I'm like beautiful. I can't hear anymore. Give me my salt and vinegar chip. Do you think the mountain air had something to do with it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Through your care, it's <laughs> rare to... You hear a stupid question. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> yes, the mountain air broke your phone. Like the altitude. So yeah. Couldn't that mess with the phone? Sure. We're on the mountain. 
What are these like mountain? Um, they're they're Karens. C A I R N S. They're trail markers. Five hundred acres that was officially designated a wilderness area in 1964. Why are you filming? Wilderness this? designation is because it'll be entertaining when we get back on the dirt road. Protecting vast <laughs> area from any yeah, yeah. Are you testing this on, on No pizza. timber harvesting, um, mining, or building of any kind are allowed. No! With the exception of a few hiking trails, Maybe put on YouTube. the forces of nature <laughs> are at work in the Great Bone Wilderness. Friends, if you're watching this, today, the halfway point used to be a stopover for guests, horses in the old days. The halfway house offered shelter Wait up, and friends, if you're watching there this, we go, the the corner. Corner. Dry, baby. Oh my god. Take a minute. Mom. Take a of a horse team Stop it. Oh my like god, look at this corner. As the driver spoke commands and encouragement, <laughs> horses ruled this road. Can I tell you something, guys? Years of and that would be why I'm filming this. <laughs> Six minutes <laughs> in. From that time oh on, my god. The restaurant era what? began to fade from memory and the right. carriage road eventually became the auto road. Just like the look down, it's just very scary. vehicle used to carry passengers. Thomas Flyer began the change in 1980, followed in 1970. She was not driving off the cliff. Don't drive off, do not go anywhere. Then Woody's in the 1930s, Nationals in the 1960s, and finally the vans used to be cruising on the